if you need some help deciding what's the next grill or smoker you should buy, this is the video for you. Hey there, I am Steve from Cookout Coach. We're all about trying to help you take your barbecue to the next level, no matter what you need. I'm so excited for today. We're gonna to be filming the definitive video in our barbecue from the ground up series. We're gonna be answering a question I get all the time, and that is, hey Steve, is this a good smoker I should get? Or, hey Steve, should I buy this smoker? Today, we're gonna to run down a simple checklist of four questions. It's gonna help answer that question for you to see if this is the right smoker or grill that you should buy. Question number one, is there a grill or smoker out there that you're just digging, that you love the look of, you think you love the way it's gonna operate, that you just have to know how it works and you wanna get your hands on it? If there is, and you think it'll fit in your backyard arsenal, I strongly advise you just go with your gut, because if you don't, and you choose a different grill for a different practicality, what's going to happen is you're just always going to wonder, what would happen if I'd have got the one that I really wanted, that I was digging? And you don't want to deal with that, and eventually you'll go back and buy it anyway. Say, so, hey, I say, buy it the first time, figure it out, enjoy the purchase, love the grill. Now, if your heart and your eye is not leading you a certain way, and I've got a simple checklist of about three other questions that answer what we should get practicality-wise. The second question we ask is do we do more grilling than smoking or smoking than grilling? If we do more grilling than smoking, I'd really point someone towards, say, a kettle grill or a Kamado grill because while you can smoke on both of these, they're also amazing at grilling up meat, at searing steaks, at doing all those quick cooks at high temperatures. You're going to be really happy with them but you'll still have the option to go and do a low and slow smoke if you want to later. Our third question we want to ask, do we need set it and forget it? And if we do, how set it and forget it do we need? If we want total set it and forget it, I'd really point people to a pellet cooker. They're great, you turn them on, you load them with wood pellets so it's a great wood fire, you dial in the thermostat to where you want it to be, you come back later when your food should be done. A close second, one of my personal favorites, is the Kamado. You know I love egg corn Kamados on this channel. I literally will set them up at 275 degrees and go to sleep for two hours. I'll get up to check on them just because that's who I am, but they're always sitting right at 275. Our fourth and final question that we need to ask ourselves is what sort of fuel source do we want? There's a lot of guys out there, me included, who love a charcoal fire with a little bit of wood smoke on it as I get out of my egg corn Kamados, but there's some of you who want to run a pure wood fire in the form of an offset stick burner. Now, know that with your offset stick burner, you're going to have to add fuel more frequently, you're going to have to tend that fire a lot, but if running that pure split wood fire is what makes you happy when you're doing your barbecue, then you should absolutely try out an offset. Get it, learn it, perfect it, enjoy it. For me, those last three questions are really just practicality guidelines, but really, if you're going to choose a new smoker, I really want you to answer that first question. Is, what does your gut say? What do you really want to cook on? Because at the end of the day, this is how we relax. This is how we enjoy ourselves. We're going to cook delicious food on this and feed it to people we care about. Do that on something you're really excited to cook on, not what you think is the most practical based on a formula that Steve said on his YouTube channel. Now that you've got your new cooker picked out, Go ahead and head over to this playlist right here. It's barbecue from the ground up. It's a few short videos. They're going to get you started cooking on that new cooker immediately. So join me over there, and I'll see you in a few.